all right guys welcome to another quick video in this video i'm going to share with you something that has been bothering me for quite a long time and it is how to add php 8.2 and 8.3 on your cyber panel so if you installed your cyber panel a while ago it probably had only until 8.1 and in some cases until 8.0 now you know like as technology is progressing you need to add more php versions which is why you need to add php 8.2 and 8.3 and unfortunately the tutorials for this are actually not out there so i've been working on this for almost a month now and i can say that the tutorial that has worked for me which is why i have now php 8.2 and 8.3 is this one um yeah so truehost.com i'll put the link down below so this is what has worked for me so the first thing you do is you open visual studio open visual studio code or any code editor but anywhere where you can go to a terminal you're going to go to the terminal i'm not going to show you my ip address but usually it will be something like this in order for you to because you want to make these changes in your entire virtual machine it's usually going to be something like ssh then root and then your ip address maybe for whatever something like this yeah so it's going to be something like that you're going to enter your ip address and once you enter your ip address um it's going to load and it's going to tell you to enter your password which is what you're going to do you're going to enter the password for your for your virtual machine if you don't remember that password then that's that's a big issue if you have a virtual machine you should make sure you have the passwords for your virtual, virtual machine so once you enter there i mean it's going to open up like a regular terminal i'm not going to show you because i don't want to reveal my ip addresses and this is actually a running server so I'm just going to show you examples. So what you're going to do, you're going to come and copy this link. And uh, once you copy this link, you're going to come here on Visual Studio Code or whatever code editor or any terminal where you can get access to a terminal. You're just going to paste it like that. I mean, let me copy it. Did I copy? Anyway, you're going to copy and you're going to paste it because it, uh, you can't do anything. Yeah, so you paste it like that. Once you load, I mean, you, you press enter. It's going to install everything it has to install. It's going to take a while, maybe 30 minutes, 20 minutes, 10 minutes. In short, it's going to take a long time. After you have finished with this first step, you're going to come. You're going to come and um as of now when i'm i have installed this script over here it has actually installed um installed php 8.2 so what you're going to do you're going to come and copy you're going to copy this and uh, just delete that and then you're going to uh, by the way, once you've run, this is this is not the, how it's going to actually look like. I'm showing you an example. So in so in the case, it's, it might look something like this. Okay, for some reason, I can't I can't delete it. So anyway, you're going to paste you're going to paste this command, but you're going to edit and put here 8.3. So you're going to run apt get install ls php 83 star this star is, is going to be there going to press enter once you're going to press enter it's going to install php 8.3 i think it's going to install the latest 8.3 maybe 8.38 in that's in my case and then once you're done with that maybe in some cases maybe in the future we might have 8.4 i don't know maybe this method might still work so once you're done with that, you're going to come here. By the way, uh, I, the reason why I use this because uh, this command because I'm using um, my machine 
virtual machine is actually Ubuntu. If you're on CentOS, you're going to use this command and the same, the same case here, we're going to edit this two to a three. Yeah, so once you're done, you're going to copy this command and then you're going to put it in the terminal. Another, another reminder, I am not showing you the actual process in, in, in the sense that uh, I'm not doing it uh, in real time. I'm just showing you what I did. So you're going to press, uh, I mean, you're going to enter this command. And once you enter this command, it's going to restart our server. <clears throat> and once our server is restarted, you're going to have PHP 8.3 or maybe 8.2 maybe 8.4, maybe if you're watching it, watching this video in the future and it has helped you. So you're going to have these two. I didn't have these two, I had only 8.1. So now I have 8.2 and 8.3. So like I said, this, uh, this process has bothered me for an entire month. I've tried so many things, so many different methods and uh, this is the one that, that has worked for me. That's why I've decided to make a video about it. So I hope this video helps you if it has helped you please share it with somebody out there and uh, please do not forget to subscribe like and it really helps so yeah goodbye